Welcome to Ocula, where we explore the fascinating world of history, geography, art, religion, and general knowledge. Today's Renaissance topic is Vasari. Giorgio Vasari was an Italian painter, architect, writer, and historian, born in 1511 in Arezzo, Italy. Vasari is widely regarded as the founder of the art historical genre, and his book, The Lives of the Most Excellent Painters, Sculptors, and Architects, has become a fundamental text in the study of Renaissance art. The book, first published in 1550, includes biographies of 200 artists, making it one of the most comprehensive surveys of art history. However, Vasari was not just a historian of art but also a highly skilled artist in his own right. This article will delve into Vasari's life, his art, and his contributions to the world of art history. Giorgio Vasari was born into a family of artisans, and his father, Antonio Vasari, was a potter. At a young age, Vasari began his artistic training as an apprentice to the painter, Guglielmo D.A. Marsiglia. Vasari quickly developed his skills as a painter and was eventually taken under the wing of Andrea del Sarto, a highly respected artist in Florence. Vasari's time with del Sarto was formative, and he developed his signature style, characterized by a mastery of color, light, and perspective. As his career progressed, Vasari became a highly sought-after artist, and his work can be found in many of the great churches and palaces of Renaissance Italy. One of his most notable works is the fresco cycle in the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence, which depicts the life of Duke Cosimo I de' Medici. Vasari's ability to capture the grandeur and drama of the moment is evident in his work, and his frescoes continue to be admired today. In addition to his work as a painter, Vasari was also an accomplished architect. He designed a number of buildings, including the Uffizi Gallery in Florence, which now houses one of the most important collections of art in the world. The building, which was commissioned by Cosimo I de' Medici, was originally intended to house the administrative offices of the city. However, Vasari's design was so impressive that it was eventually converted into an art gallery. Vasari's architecture is characterized by a sense of grandeur and monumentality, and his designs often incorporate elements of classical architecture. His work is notable for its use of light and space, and his buildings are designed to be experienced as much as they are to be admired. Vasari's contribution to the world of architecture is significant, and his influence can be seen in the work of many architects who followed him. While Vasari's work as a painter and architect is impressive, his greatest contribution to the world of art history is his book, The Lives of the Most Excellent Painters, Sculptors, and Architects. The book, which was first published in 1550, is a collection of biographies of 200 artists, ranging from ancient Greece to Vasari's own time. The Lives, is notable for its comprehensive scope and for the way it blends historical fact with anecdote and legend. Vasari's aim was to provide a complete history of Italian art, and he succeeded in doing so by combining his own knowledge with the stories and traditions that have been passed down through the generations. The book is also notable for its lively writing style, which makes it a pleasure to read even today. Vasari's influence on the field of art history cannot be overstated. The Lives, was one of the first books to attempt a comprehensive survey of art history, and it set the standard for the writing of art history for centuries to come. The book also had a significant impact on the way that artists were perceived in society. Before The Lives, artists were often viewed as mere craftsmen, but Vasari's book elevated them to the level of geniuses and visionaries. This change in perception helped to raise the status of artists, and it led to a greater appreciation for their work. Giorgio Vasari passed away in 1574, but his legacy lives on. His contributions to the world of art history and his influence on the way that artists are perceived are still felt today. In addition to his work as a painter, architect, and historian, Vasari was also a teacher. He trained many artists in his lifetime, and his ideas and techniques were passed down through the generations. Vasari's influence can be seen in the work of many artists who followed him, including Caravaggio, Rubens, and Rembrandt. His book, The Lives, continues to be studied and admired today, 
and it remains one of the most important texts in the field of art history. Giorgio Vasari was a true Renaissance man, whose contributions to the world of art history and culture were immense. His mastery of painting, architecture, and writing set him apart as a true visionary, and his book, The Lives, remains one of the most important texts in the field of art history. Vasari's legacy lives on in the work of countless artists and historians, and his impact on the world of art cannot be overstated.